this feels like it is not humanity 1.0 or 2.0. And from what the archangels are saying, it's at least 3.0. But how do we know we're going to make it through this time? Look at this as just a time. Use your tools, wise one. It's why you have returned. Feel, think, to be in your heart. You're choosing love. It may seem like a simple thing to do because it is. So step out of the very intoxicating movie of fear. Come home to your hearts. This is your world service. This is how you can help and we support you. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Michael Sandler, your host on Inspire Nation. If you've ever wanted to develop a special sacred relationship with the Archangels, then do we have the Lessons from the 12 Archangels show for you. Today I'll be talking with Belinda Womack, best-selling author, teacher, and guide who was called into service by the Archangels over 25 years ago and has written one of the most brilliant books I've ever read, Lessons from the 12 Archangels. And that's just what I want to talk with her about, about where we come from, why we're here, why things feel so bad right now, and what we can do to turn everything around. So welcome back to the show, Belinda. Are you ready to shine? Of course, Michael. Thanks for having me back. Well, thank you for being here. And I, I just, I have no other way to put this, Belinda. I want to start with a hug. <laughs> I want to start with a hug. I hug you back. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So before we dive right into things, what's the divine experiment and has it gone awry? Let's see what they have to say. Michael, we thank you for the blessing that you give to us to allow us to share that you already know the answer. Of course, the experiment of duality has not gone awry. You see, everything is always evolving, moving, changing. And our message to humanity is, it is imperative right now that you breathe, that you be in the present, and that you go with the flow. We, the 12 archangels of the central sun, together with many guides and other angels and beings from all over the great cosmos, hold your schoolroom earth in our hearts. Have we abandoned you? Of course we have not abandoned you. But this is a time of growth. It is a time of accelerated evolution. Just like during Lemuria and Atlantis, now is your time, what we call the time of Terra. So buckle up your seatbelt. Understand that you create your own reality. So say no to plugging in, to mass fear. Be the guiding, singing light of love. Hold it in every cell of you and watch the world change for the better. For it is changing. This is what you can be sure of. Everything is evolving. Everything is always moving closer to pure undiluted love. And we thank you for helping us. Thank you, Belinda, and thank you, 12 Archangels. I want to dive into all the good stuff. But with that said, Jessica and I lived on Maui for years, and we knew all of the stories of Lemuria. Lemuria is not here anymore. Atlantis is not here anymore. What? Who says? Well, Who the elders Michael? on Maui would say that we are the top, that Maui was the top of Lemuria. So it's a brilliant question you're asking me. Where I'm going with it is if everything is spiraling, how do I put this, Belinda? 
trying to be very careful with my words. This feels like it is not humanity 1.0 or 2.0, and from what the archangels are saying, it's at least 3.0. But how do we know we're going to make it through this time? Michael, we say to you, and we say to all of your incredibly powerful listeners, what other choice would Creator make other than for you, her schoolroom earth and all of her inhabitants, to not make it through? Is there another choice? You see, we ask again that you understand that Fear creates many illusions that are so convincing. It's very much like sitting in a movie theater and being very, very absorbed in the movie and being convinced because you're so absorbed in it that this is reality. But there is an entirely other reality that is also happening on your planet. And it is the reality of heaven on earth. It does live and it is here. So we encourage you and your listeners to ask to experience more of this reality, more love, more gratitude, more compassion, more loving kindness, more abundance. For as you do this, you help to shift the reality for all concerned. Your schoolroom is Archangel Gaia. Do you believe that one of us is going to vanish? We say, oh no. We all come from the central sun that is always creating, always changing. But if the mass consciousness of humanity needs to believe that the end is here, that this pandemic is going to wipe everyone out or the forest fires or the floods. Forest fires and floods were part of the huge transformation of Lemuria becoming Atlantis, Atlantis becoming Terra. But the wisdom and the highest magic is still here. Lemuria was the time of using one's emotion to move energy and to receive miracles. It is the time of the feminine. Atlantis is the time of the masculine, using thought to move energy. This is the time of the heart. That is why you have returned. And the heart attracts to it all that is needed and all that is wonderful. Look at this as just a time to use your tools, wise ones. It is why you have returned to feel, to think, to be in your heart by choosing love. It may seem like a simple thing to do, because it is. So step out of the very intoxicating movie of fear. Come home to your hearts and ask to be and to live an even greater love. This is your world service. This is how you can help. And we thank you and we support you. Thank you, 12 Archangels. Thank you, Belinda. World service. It's interesting. We're teaching a school of mystics right now. We have a whole bunch of MITs, mystics in training. And what we're told is that we're coming together, that our eyes are not just receivers, but our eyes are projectors. And we're here to project a new reality. Project our way home, you could say. And that that is our job. Is it true that we incarnated choose to come in, come together at this time for this divine heart period of moving from the me 
to the way. We say to you that we say to the mystic, the very ancient mystic that you are, that your heart has the best eyes to see and to know and to move you forward. You will always have an I, you will always have a me because your soul is expressing through your me. It is what soul does here on School Rimmer. But when you can remind your me that she or he is not alone, that she or he is part of a huge loving family that has your back and your front and your right and your left, your above and your below. This is incredibly helpful. So our message to your mystics in training is believe in magic. What is magic? Magic is just miracle making. It's synchronicity, serendipity. It's the joy and the delight of the child within you having your way. But when your way is truly for the greatest good of all concern, you see the me of the ego only goes rogue, it only runs away when it doesn't believe that it gets to have what it wants. But we say, go higher, go deeper and say, okay, ego, let us put out to the great universe that what we desire to receive and to experience is that which is for our own greatest good, but also for the greatest good of all concerned. And this is what we see you teaching your mystics to tap into, for this truth lives within. It lives within every soul. And every soul that is expressing through every ego is trying to reach their egos to say, it can be so much easier. It can be so much easier. Don't push away magic. Embrace it. It only means receiving miracles from all of the helpers in heaven. Enjoy it. Thank you, Belinda. Thank you, 12 Archangels. When you were a child, from what I understand, you lived in the magical world. You lived surrounded by angels. You lived surrounded by, um, I'm going to say higher beings, but I don't mean better beings. But you were in this magical world until a door slammed closed, the door of the mind. I think you said, I'm going for biology, but don't, I'm going to be a scientist. And then it was knocked back open with you in like this stone room. I picture like Stonehenge at the same time you're working with a syringe or something. Right now, for many of us in this fear-based world, we've gone ka -donk! <laughs> and we've locked the door to the magic. How do we begin to open that door back up? First of all, you can't actually lock the door, but you can run away from it. The feminine, creative, spiritual, intuitive mind, the mind that Michael Sandler used to write his book and does all of his channeling with and communicating with, it is still there and it's the bigger part of the human brain. To open it back up is as simple as to feel one's feelings. To be as the little child, to play, to smile, to be here now, to be creative in any way and to be open, just open a little bit to say, okay, angels, give me a miracle. Show me something that says that magic and even my own feelings and thoughts can create something wonderful for me, an opening for me, that my heart can draw to me an opportunity. 
help me to experience this. And pop, the door opens, but it takes courage for that door to open. You know that. All of your listeners know that because you have to give up control over and over and over because control stops the flow of the intuitive knowing, but it stops the flow of the joy. It's pretty awesome to be happy most of the time, don't you agree? Mm -hmm. So it begins with wanting to be happy. That's what helps that, helps that door to open. Thank you. I was going to ask, how do we call in the 12 archangels into our lives each morning? And it is morphing into, how do we let in or invite in the 12 archangels each morning and <laughs> surrender the day in control? Mm. To invite in the 12 archangels, it helps to understand that they're with each and every one of us. They will feel a bit more involved in our everyday life when we have a calling to help shift consciousness, to bring love where love has been missing. Because they live at a vibration of pure undiluted love. So the more childlike we are and the happier we are, the easier it is to connect with them. But they're there all the time. They're helping orchestrate things on earth all the time, Michael. They just told me the other day that I, and I, I thought this was so amazing. The, and their number is symbolic again. That means you know, a lot, a lot of angels. They don't get into numbers and Right, we have 12 and not 144,000. They just say, look at it as we're helping you to evolve. And what they do right now to the entire consciousness of humanity is that they are pulling out chunks of fearful thought from the collective. If you think of the human being, the human collective as one human being, as one body, they're actually reaching into that body and saying, nope, you're not going to think that. And they pull it out and they send it back to the central sun. And they're doing that more often because they understand that the human collective is very much stuck in the, uh, innocently in the fear that is trapped in the subconscious. And so we go into control mode because five generations, 10 generations of our ancestors were under attack. We don't understand that our subconscious plays such a huge role in our own control mind. Uh-oh, there we've got to be in charge again, got to be responsible. So that's where the angels are stepping in, whether we know it or not. They're like, no, we're just going to pull out a chunk of your subconscious so that it's easier for the love to come in. It's easier for you, for all of those beautiful people out there to think a little bit differently, to have a little bit of a perspective. But to answer your question, to call on them is as simple as, thank you, 12 archangels. Thank you for guiding me today, giving me messages through my own intuition. I thank you for your help. To move out of the control mind is as simple as breathing. And to say Belinda's favorite words, I surrender. Even if I don't want to, I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. And this is a new thing they taught me. It's not new. You're going to roll your eyes at me. I surrender to the joy of my soul. Because see, our souls are in charge. If we'll just take that ego and surrender to soul. Soul is made of the central sun. It's made of joy and happiness and prosperity and good health. So my friend, just try saying that. I surrender to the joy and the happiness of my soul. I surrender to the joy and happiness of my soul. 
Woo-hoo. One with the central soul. One with the central soul. One with the central sun. Yeah, see how it gets bigger? There was a question in there, and now I'm just in bliss. Um, (laughs) Wow. It's totally evaporated. I love it. Thank you, angels. Thank you, angels. Thank you, angels. I would like to answer a question. Go for it. The question is, what do human beings need to do when they find themselves in a hamster wheel of fear? When they find themselves again in, but I must be responsible. I have a list of tasks to be accomplished and I am feeling afraid for my safety and my security. Maybe I'm safe in this hour, but I don't know about next week. And we say to you, beautiful human beings, first of all, to have these thoughts, it's not your fault. No matter how spiritually evolved and growing you may be, it's not your fault to have these thoughts because this is part of being on school remark. But it can be your joy to shift your mind out of the hamster wheel and back into love. And how do you do this? You begin with breathing. And then we suggest that you just step in to Divine Mother's ruby love. You see, this is the energy of your root chakra. You have heard us speak of your crown chakra and the awesome violet fire that transforms fear back into love. Ruby is a part of the root chakra's energy, of the crown chakra's energy. And when you are in Ruby, whether it's with your intention or you visualize yourself, as Belinda loves to do, as a dry piece of toast, just saturated in Divine Mother's ruby milk, you are filling your humanity with safety and security. True safety and security that provides for you, that attracts to you what you need, and it will calm you down because you will feel safe. And we say this is an easy tool. But one more thing we would like to add. You've also heard us speak that there is a divine law that is quite popular. Goes like this, as above, so below. That means as in heaven, so it will be on the earth. And the other part of that law is as within, meaning within you, so without. So when you fill up with safety and security from the divine mother of the great universe, you have a new set of roots. You are held and nurtured in her love. And that nurturing safety, security, even financial security, especially financial security. It must manifest in your everyday life because it's divine law. And schoolroom earth may be a wild place, even wilder than the wild, wild west used to be, but it is still governed by these divine laws. Work with this law. Bring in the divine mother. Let her receive for you, through you, so that you calm down. And then you can truly walk in your life, each and every step, as the healing light and sound world server that you signed up 
to be in this incarnation. And we thank you. Thank you, Belinda. Thank was that the question you wanted to ask? It was part A, yes, but there is no but. And there is a part B, because the crux of today is I want people leaving here understanding, A, why we chose to come here at this time, B, tools we can use to help us open our chakras up or heal because we're exhausted. We, as humanity, are exhausted right now. And then to be able to do the work that we came here to do. So I'm in an RV, tiny little tin box. If the RV gets cluttered, which means if I put one thing out of order, <laughs> then I don't have the space to think and to be. And Spaceship Earth right now is cluttered. The airways are cluttered. Our minds are cluttered. There is fear that we can find around every corner to clutter us. So where I'm going for the archangels is what can we do to build that space or to find that energy to even be able to step forward. A lot of people will watch this and may feel too exhausted to take action. We speak to you about exhaustion. And we say that our answer does not change. Soak in divine mother's love. The color ruby will flow into your human being. The Divine Mother wants to mother you and care for you. You are exhausted because you have been running so much in a lower vibrational masculine. The masculine mind is, I cannot do enough because I am not enough. Therefore, I have to control everything because I'm not good enough to believe that there is a divine, that I'm a divine child that I am worthy to be cared for. So we say honor that you feel exhausted. And when it is time for rest, call on the angel love doctors. You can change their name. This is just what Belinda likes to call them. And say, I thank you for restoring me while I sleep. But sleep in the color ruby. And sleep in the color emerald green. For these two colors of the mother and of heart, they will replenish you. And then when you awaken, instead of looking at your day of what must I get done, begin it with beloved angels, and divine child of my heart and my helpers in heaven and soul, show me, show me what I need to do next. And then you go to the next thing. But it is about slowing down, breathing in love, focusing the divine father of the great universe, the divine masculine will help you to focus your human will. And so that you learn to use your energy the most efficiently. And then there is one most incredible ingredient that you still need. And this definitely will help Bring that exhaustion down and bring energy in. And you're going to say, but angels, it's so simple. And we say simple, yes, but easy to forget. It is the energy of trust. It is emerald green with gold sparkles. And it fills you. 
Because when you ask divine source to fill you with trust, trust that you are doing the right thing, that you are where you need to be, that you are guided and directed, and that the energy you need will flow in. You see, this is what trust does for you. We call it the golden nectar. It gives you life. This is what trust does. So take a moment and ask to be filled with trust and with Ruby Divine Mother's love so that you feel safe. And Divine Father Sapphire Blue, so that you know what to do. And so you're not wasting your time or your energy. You just know. Is this helpful? Thank you, 12 Archangels. Thank you, Belinda. I want to go into some interesting questions about why we're here now. And and then I'd, I'd love it if the 12 Archangels can share where Jessica and I are now. But there are some amazing tools the 12 Archangels just gave, such as, as breathing in and bathing in this emerald green light. When do we do it? Or how do we make this a daily practice rather than a hither nither one off when I remember to, I will bathe in this light. Mm. Our response to this is that you already have such a list of daily practices. And so to have a long list of daily practices can feel overwhelming to your humanity so we say this when you find that you are suffering when you find that you are unhappy when you find that you are in a place of anxiety when you find that you are tired put on a sticky note trust and you will remember to call on the universe to fill you with trust. Just having the intention will work. Trust expands you. It lifts you. It fills you. It reconnects your ego with your soul. One with the central sun. Call on trust when you need it. You see, otherwise, most incredible Michael, your listeners, they will not do it. For humanity has just been swamped from our perspective with to-do lists that are miles and miles long. But human beings will do They will do what is needed when they are so uncomfortable that they say, help me. So when you find yourself in a place where you say, I'm just not happy, trust is the answer. Trust. Fill up. It's very magnetic. It will bring to you the miracles that you need. Thank you. As above, so below, as within, so without. As the small, as the large. Strange way to put it, but each individual's life is a microcosm of what's going on for all of humanity. And so sure. I find it fascinating that... Um, Wow, the angels just keep trying to take my breath and my thoughts away today. <laughs> this is so much fun, whatever they're doing. I tried to prep for this. They, and, they would and like to answer your question go for when it. you're ready. Go for it. <laughs> Shining cell in the human collective. Yes. You see, where there are healthy cells, 
in your human body. They send energy to any cell within you that is suffering, that is crying out, that is depleted, and they send energy immediately. Michael, what you are teaching and what Jessica is teaching is to be the shining cell that connects with the central cell or central soul and fills up with abundant healing energy of pure undiluted love so that as you walk your life and you walk your talk, you shining one, you send that incredible love out to all the other cells that are suffering, all the other suffering human beings who are drowning in fear and they are drowning in lack and they are drowning in victim consciousness and powerlessness and hopelessness because they, are for, they have forgotten. They have forgotten who they are. They have forgotten that all they need to do is to say, help me. They have forgotten that in order to receive, they must lift their vibration a tiny bit because otherwise they're like closed fists. The love has no place to go, but when they shift a tiny bit, for all the love that they are receiving from the healthy cells, and the love is pounding them like a good rain, they start to open a tiny bit. And the love can come in, and then they want more and more and more, until they too become a shining cell that says, I want to give, I want to send, I want to share because I can and because it makes me happy to do so. Have we answered your question, wise one? Thank you. It continues. It is perfect and it reminds me exactly where I wanted to go. So that was spot on, which is you mentioned that it is when we are afraid or when we are exhausted the most these are my words not yours when our back is against the wall that is when we take action and so i'm wondering if that's why beautifully so humanity seems so well they had a un meeting yesterday where i was actually very thankful to hear everybody saying we're in trouble not because we're in trouble but because it seems like that's a time where there is that opening, there is that space for something magic to take place. Is that what's going on? Is that what's going on right now? Of course. <laughs> is that why we have chosen this time? And does it mean no pressure that we have this? beautiful responsibility once we've recharged our soul to shine our lives e light even brighter. When it's a joy, when it's a joy to shine, when it brings you happiness, the way the angels put it is that it's like being a multi-billionaire, but you're so happy to share that you're, you don't care if you give it all away because you're in such a place of trust. You know that the billions will just come back to you. So you don't need to hoard anymore. You don't need to protect. All you want to do is to give. The true wealth is the wealth of love. The love of the soul that has found the ego that says, I've got it. I want to be a, a giver because I know how to be a receiver. I know how to receive from source so that I am a magnificent waterfall of love and I wanna shower all over you. It begets the question, Belinda, how do we become better receivers? But we have shared with you we have already told you 
but perhaps you didn't recognize it. The divine mother, the divine feminine, your creative, intuitive, spiritual part of your brain is the part of you that is the receiver, that is receptive. So it works this simply. Thank you, thank you, thank you, divine mother of the great universe, through my own divine feminine and divine child, for receiving through me, for me, that which is for my greatest good and my highest joy. And thank you for opening me, opening me to being even more receptive. And we say that what helps that receptivity, feel your feelings. Ask the question, what do I feel? What do I need to receive from source? Even if it's new socks, we say to you, receive it from source. And the socks will come and they will be your favorites. Woohoo! Thank you. Are there any messages? The last time we had you on and the 12 archangels through, through you, Belinda, um, they had some profound words for Jessica and myself. And our audience is following our entire journey. Is there anything that they wish to share with Jessica and myself at this time? We begin our message to Michael and Jessica with gratitude. We are so truly grateful for the loving lights and beings that you continue to choose to be. Crowing happy roosters sending out your love. But this is our message. It is more of a request of the two of you. Please ask the great universe to supply you with a beautiful home. For you see your RV is wonderful and it serves a good purpose, but it says that you are on the run, on the go. And it is time for you to put down roots for families like roots. This is part of your humanity. It is to have a place that is your home where you feel safe and secure because you fill this physical place with divine mother's ruby love and you ask for rainbow swords of singing light to come from heaven, go through your house into the earth. Our message to you is the two of you need to ask for more because this is what you also are here to teach. Do not deny that which your humanity needs. You are not nomads, beautiful ones. And you will find that allowing yourselves to have a home on schoolroom earth will let you breathe a deeper, more steady breath and a whole new evolution of your teaching is about to be birthed. You will see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We see. <laughs> What does it mean for each of us to return home or find heaven here on earth? Our answer is to remember that you're God's divine child. To really allow yourselves to know this and to experience it. 
and to hear us. Mother, Father, God, Creator, Divine Oneness, Angels, Ascended Masters, Galactic Star Beings, Celestial Beings. We want to help all of you on School Rimmer. And we say that our power, because we work with the power of love, is far greater than any fear or rumors of reptilians or this or that that may want to cause you to suffer. Love is the greatest power. Let yourselves have a happy childhood. Let yourselves moment by moment remember you are not on the earth to be a grown-up. You have come to schoolroom earth to be like the Merlin, to grow younger as you grow older so that you remember, ah, I am a magical manifester. And when I allow myself to be a child and be completely taken care of, I don't get in my own way. I allow. This is what we ask of you. Let yourselves for a moment just say, well, what would that look like? What would that look like and feel like and be like if I got to be the child, totally supported, loved, nourished, Never thought about where the money's going to come from. I am being my true authentic self, doing what brings me joy. Experience this. And you will know the law of as above, so below is alive in you. Thank you. How do we begin to open up our third eye? What makes you believe it's not open? I would expect nothing less. <laughs> How do we trust to see with our third eye again? You are very familiar with the teaching of the 12 archangels. They're going to say, first you connect with the child that lives within you. So you get out a photograph of yourself, if that's helpful, and you start to have a conversation with that child, with that self. You can pick any age and you have a conversation. And as you do that, and you fill up with a few Happy colors of the rainbow, that helps too. Mm -hmm. Fuchsia is the angel's color for opening the third eye or the intuition because it brings in even more of that divine mother. But truly, it is that simple of you close your eyes, you step through the purple door, takes you over into the feminine brain. You look for that child that is you, that divine child that's going to look like you. And you say, will you be my teacher? And sometimes that's not always so easy for the ego. What human beings don't understand is the divine child is your super conscious. So you start to get the answers for the solutions of your problems through that child. And your intuition just explodes open. But at the highest vibration of love, no ubi goobies get in there. I love that. I had no idea there would be any ubi goobies today. Where are you? I'm I'm watching the growth of Jessica and myself, and it's been to say on a curve is an understatement. Uh, I don't feel we're the same people we were three months ago, let alone six months or a year ago. What's been going on on your personal evolution, or what have you been learning spending so much time with the archangels? So I'm happy 
to answer that question, but I definitely want to say that I haven't spoken to you for a year and you're and you're a different person. You're so much steadier in your energy and more confident and full of trust in a way that I have never experienced from you before. So bravo, Thank Michael you. and Jessica. Thank you. Received the high five, received lots of hugs. <laughs> Okay, so for myself, I have been learning to pay attention to my humanity. And as I listen, you know, because we've all, all of us world servers, we've had so many past lives of training that teaches us, forget about your humanity, forget about all that, just keep working, just keep serving, you can rise above it. So I've definitely been learning more about what it means to be God fully human and human fully God. And with that shared also in my work with the 12 Archangels, what I've heard from, I teach something called the Accelerated Discovery Program. So these are um, often healers and very wise mystics that take this training. And they have said to me, the teaching from the angels is just off the charts. We can't believe where it's going because, you know, we already thought that we were already blown away. I mean, this is, I'm not trying to brag in any no. way. I'm just sharing this is what I've been told. So what has been happening to me, which I think has been so much we've been lied to in those past lives, is that as we really care for our humanity, and listen to it and honor it and value the vessel and the vehicle, the pipe gets even bigger. You know, I'm sure in your automatic writing, it's like, excuse my, it's not a bad word, but holy cow, look at what's coming through me. And that's just the way it works that as we honor, well, we matter. Michael and Jessica and Belinda, we matter. Yeah. As we get that, even more can come through us so that we have even more to share. That concept of we matter to me is the greatest teaching that we can learn this lifetime, maybe any lifetime, is mm -hmm. self-love. Because part of this amnesia we've been given is we must do, we must go, we must be, we must, we must, we must, or I'm not enough anything but giving yourself there's a reason i keep going back to the hug here <laughs> if we get it that this is in a sense i'm i'm massaging my shoulders here all we need then the vessel is huge for whatever else we are here to do but it starts by coming home to as you're saying our humanity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right the temple of the divine. God lives within us. And to, you know, to live as the child. Mm -hmm. I teach my students, you know, and I'm a student too. I don't mean that, that they are any less aware than myself. We are all students. Is Belinda is very much a child all the time. I'm just a child. I might be 60 years old, but I'm a little kid. And that's why I can channel the 12 archangels. That's the only reason why is because I'm a child. So I know for you, because I know you're little Michael, that that's why all the writing and channeling and communications with all of heaven flows through you in the way that it does because folks like us we want to be authentic right we want to be pure we just want to bring through the love so i thank you and little michael for doing that little michael's about to cry he's also happy like he's in a candy store today with belinda <laughs> I'm enjoying this candy store. Where can people go to find your work, to find your courses, to find your advanced and accelerated programs? The easiest way is to go to 
BelindaWomack.com. That's my um, primary website. If you want to just do a shortcut and go straight to my courses, it's Belinda Womack. My name dot podia p o d i a dot com, and everything that I have channeled from the angels is right there. Either way will work, and you are welcome to join us. It's quite an adventure, though. It is. When you put the um, glass glasses back on, <laughs> it is to quote you a little bit of a holy crap <laughs> moment. <laughs> We said, holy cow. Oh, excuse me. I'm like, crap doesn't sound good. You worked carefully <laughs> on that one. Holy smokes was the other choice. <laughs> Cows are precious. Cows are sacred. So I like that one. We'll go with that. Where do you see humanity going? And how, <laughs> forgive me, cow, bullish are you for the future? Let's bring them in. Our response to this is that it would be wisest for you to detach from where certain pockets of humanity seem to be heading and focus on the reality that you are creating and that you are living in. Because to focus on the reality of heaven, it doesn't make you selfish. It makes you a more powerful vacuum a more powerful suction, because you see, fear always wants to return home to love. If you put your energy into the drama, into the crises, that many human beings want to experience, they have signed up to experience, we would like to add, they need to experience then you're only lowering your own vibration and feeding it because when you are awake, you are so powerful. So call that energy back in. Stay at the highest vibration of love. Walk in heaven, breathe heaven, be that joyful child. And if you choose to watch the news, say, that may be their news. So I'm going to shine even brighter. I'm going to send even more love to that part of the world or that neighbor's house next door. But I will choose to come home and to be home and to live even more in heaven because I surrender to the joy of my soul. I surrender that this is the way I change the world for the better of all concerned. Thank you. Woohoo! Last couple things. First, I wonder, Linda, if you have any last words you want to share, and then I wonder if the angels wouldn't mind sharing any last words and leading us in some sort of a, an attunement, a meditation, anything they feel called. Belinda, I would love to share that I have a free short little class on my website. When you go to the homepage at BelindaWomack.com called Soul Connection. Mm -hmm. And it's where the angels guide you through. There's a little audio recording and then there's a PDF on how to connect with your soul so you can hear it. And so that you can know, is your soul trying to redirect your life? Are you a consciousness shifter? Are you a healer? Are you here to do even more automatic writing from Michael's awesome teaching? The class, it's short and to the point that it will help you. And then if you do feel called to be that world server, the 12 Archangels have an incredible advanced training called their Accelerated Discovery Program. It's not for the weak hearted, but it's for the big hearted because they take you to the depths of transforming that subconscious so that you become the walking, talking transformer everywhere you go. So that's what Belinda would like to share. And now to share, the angels ask to share for all concerned, 
able to share for you and Jessica? Or what do you, or all the above? Oh, let's do all of the above. Why not? I'll take, in the words of Wayne Dyer, the whole enchilada. Okay. So we're going to we're going to lead you through the healing. Mm -hmm. Please close your eyes, our beloved ones, and take a deep breath in. And know you are breathing in love and help. With every in breath, you are breathing in help. You are exhaling fear and worry. And we ask that you step through the purple door which we have opened for you. And you step into an emerald meadow. And there the divine child of your heart is blowing bubbles with a huge bubble wand. And the bubbles are of all rainbow colors. And you are breathing in help. And you are breathing out anxiety and worry. And from your belly, you're going to reach into your belly and pull out the anxiety of the future. Will it work this time? Is it going to happen this time? Will we make it? Will we drown in a flood? Will Delta get us? Whatever it may be, the fears and the anxieties about the future. Being human, you can share you have some of these. So pull it out of your belly. It's gonna come out like in a burlap sack. And the divine child within you blows a big bubble. It's a very strong bubble. It's not gonna burst on you. And put those worries and concerns about the future, put it in a bubble. And the divine child closes the bubble and it becomes a bouncing ball. And the divine child bounces the rainbow ball and it bounces so high. It bounces all the way to the central sun where it goes pop, all is well. All is well. And then the divine child creates a second bubble, a beautiful rainbow bubble. And he or she blows into the bubble, emerald, green with gold sparkles, the energy of trust. When you step into this beautiful magic bubble and you are breathing in trust now, there's no more room for anxiety. And we say to you that this is your new force field, the force field that will grow with you as you grow, as you evolve, filling you with trust and highest miracle making. Be here. And if you're very wise, you will invite your divine child to step into the bubble with you. And your divine feminine and your divine masculine. And we'll give you another little secret. If you make your bubble big enough, the 12 archangels step inside of it. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you. And then any last words they have for either Jessica and myself or everyone. They say you need to listen to the meditation. Everything that you need is inside of it. Everything. Perfect. 
Belinda, this has been beautiful. Archangels, always beautiful. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. I cannot thank you enough. I'm in such a, a quiet place. My editor will have to crank up the, mu the, the volume for everyone. But thank you so, 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 so much. You are very welcome. Mm -hmm. So for everyone out there, this is Michael Sandler saying, be well, have fun, get lessons from the 12 archangels and begin connecting with the 12 archangels and your deepest soul today and shine bright. Woohoo! The rains are pounding down. It's getting really, really interesting here, but we made it through this incredible interview. In fact, thank you for hanging in there because the internet was a little bit warbly at time due to this massive storm that's outside on the East Coast that held at bay until we got through talking with the 12 Archangels. I hope you love this as much as I did. If you want to learn how to talk with the angels, get all the automatic writing experience. You can get the entire video-based program at automaticwriting.com along with live classes each and every month. And the audiobook is coming out on Amazon as well. All the automatic writing experience, the audiobook. How does it get any better than this? How does it get any better than this? Well, it gets better than this because we have live events every Sunday night free on YouTube. You simply click that subscribe button below and click the bell icon. You'll be notified of the live events. You'll be notified of upcoming premieres such as Belinda Womack and more. You'll be notified of all of this goodness. How does it get any better than this? We have a podcast. You may not know it, but we are on iTunes. We are on Spotify. We are everywhere you want to ingest your podcast or listen to it from. So driving down the road, you can be catching Inspire Nation. Running on down the road, you can be catching Inspire Nation. Wherever you are on or off the road through our podcast, you can listen to your favorite shows, your favorite episodes of Inspire Nation. If you like this, big thumbs up again. Subscribe, click that bell icon. Here's the link for the next amazing show. Love you guys so, so much. Shine bright. Woohoo! Love you guys, love you guys, love you guys. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit. Love you.